Namaste. Whenever you make a Word document that will grow uh, in a large book and has some elements that repeat, you want to use styles. Uh, you want to use styles, you want to control not just how a row looks, but how all the rows of the same function look like. Okay. So let me try to do one thing. Change it. Uh, Example, we change it to this way. Um, and we make it red. Okay. And we create a new style. Big red the vinagre. Okay. So you see it's a style. Uh, I can I can I can select oh this is where it gets where it gets interesting. The styles are dirty. The search document as well is not uh, clean, so because of that there will be a lot of issues. Using styles is never easy, but it's better with styles than without them because if you make a book, if the Word file doesn't contain styles, you will get in trouble in most cases uh, because we don't deal with books in one script, we deal with books in several scripts, Devanagari, Latin, Cyrillic. Okay, um, what can I do? I can go this way. And uh, yeah, okay, so I have applied the style. If I change it once, it will change in all, all, all the places. It will change. Uh, okay, update it automatically. Great. It should have been 20. Okay. Great. I don't like this uh, Sanskrit 2003 uh, Latin font. So I go for my charter. Okay. Um, I can make a new style. Let's see, make it this way. Okay. So this is how it goes. And there can be a style of a paragraph and a style of a um, character, a symbol, a letter. So sometimes it's they can conflict and you it will it is hard to find a compromise so here you can see now on that document i have invented several styles devanagari uh, it's for them word by word translations i uh, use uh, for uh, charaka hashtanga uh, ramayana mahabharata okay so different styles are in, in my templates um, so it's not always easy and issues will be there you see this is all as one point uh, you can try to make press enter will it help uh, 
And this is how I can do it actually. So first I press enter, then I press delete. First I press enter, then do it this way. But I guess this is not needed, it's easy it's read easily enough. Um you should take into account that if you use hyphens they should be similar. Okay, this to the white spaces no good. Okay. They should be similar. And the Russian meaning uh, no it's not the Russian meaning, it's the the German meaning. German meaning. Okay, the German meaning like, 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 like. When you quote the PDF files of Bertling scans I've made, please add the page in the PDF, not the page of the book. That could be available info as well, actually. You can add both. Page in the book and page of the file, uh, so I can, we can, one can quickly check. This would be a good addition, because just knowing the book is not enough. that's about styles you uh, y and there's one more thing you might be interested in okay so styles uh, find text which has a similar style in a big document it can take uh, up to 20 minutes to find all these places but this is a small document so we can go for like this no my no it's not good so th this is not always good uh, in many cases it's great in many cases it's not so you can see that the document e becomes easier to read so if I don't want all you see that I should split first m make this style and then I can delete it afterwards now it's good now it's, it's not all German okay so, for example, if I would want for all these words a separate style, let's say the style is like... Uh, okay. no, I don't want translation to be the same. Um, let's say... Uh, Russian. And... Um, Russian text. The Russian text should. Oh, it's already Russian. Okay. Russian. Then we should change the way it looks. It should be. It should be arrow. Or whatever. Whatever we do. Okay. So the text should be structured. Whatever you do, this should be a structure. You see, it was italics before, and it remained italics. Although I applied a class, so some are, it's not perfect. There are dirty styles. The issue is was always so it's just leave it don't worry too much about too many details you can't make it perfect in word uh, you cannot that's how I use styles I have used styles for uh, 10 years and uh, I must say that the word styles are anyway 
much better than Adobe InDesign styles so they are easy to apply there are shortcuts you can use a lot of good things yes there is dirt but the dirt is always there in other software as well and I'm not sure that it's a good idea about splitting the Nagari, Iast, um, English and Russian with hyphens, but let it be. You see, uh, uniformity is the main thing to consider. So, have a hyphen here, we have none here, it will break everything if we will try some auto replacement, uh, whatever formatting. And uh, of course, I would want to you know the grammatical data. Mukhe, mukha. Is it Strelingam? What it is? Tell me. Tell me everywhere. Then it will be a make a difference. It will be a book as none before. It will add the scripts, the, the other scripts you have, other Indian languages, it will be a beauty. Bye.